This episode has been brought to you by Flowstate, the unlimited web flow development service. Find out more at flowstate.dev. Hello and welcome to another episode of Webflow and Code, where I teach you the underlying code you're writing in Webflow. Let's get right to it. We've been waiting for this feature for a little while and it literally just dropped last night. And that is custom CSS or style properties inside of the designer. It couldn't come at the worst time because I've just recently built this Swamp website. I look forward to doing a video on just kind of the challenges and a case study on this website. So look out for that one. Subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's just quickly jump in because I literally, I've I only looked at it, yeah. Scroll down to the bottom here. Oh, that is awesome. So we have basically custom code things and there's a bunch of shortcuts in there. And I wonder if that's dynamic depending on what you want to use. This is amazing, but it does look like it's limited. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of these are one already in Webflow and two, well, I think there's a lot more CSS properties than that. Let's see if it's like an obscure one. Justified tracks, text justifies in there. I used this one recently. Okay, so it's shortcuts. Let's do text justifies, a little bug there. Um, balance, I think it is, or maybe it's justify or something. Interesting. That's cool. So it actually has, uh, actually has spell check in there as well. Into Word. Okay, let's have a look at that. To word cool i mean i like that it it uh, checks it for you but it's not going to break your website if you don't enter the right property i'm just trying to think of stuff like uh content attribute and then href or something like this uh, let's you do that but this is amazing because this removes the need for having custom code in all dotted all over the place and presumably you can see it in the in the browser so let me think of a something we can do that's not in here let's just do visibility hidden so you're seeing them in the browser and obviously that's the worst thing is when you've got site-wide custom code in the page settings you don't see the effect of that CSS. You only see it if it's either provided in the style panel or you've got an embed um, element going. So that's super handy. Honestly, I w I'll explain it in the case study, but there's a lot of uh, custom code changing CSS variables and stuff like that. With this method, it will make it crystal clear what those classes are doing, given that actually, this brand color. So yeah, so we can't do properties. It'd be nice if we can select, well, can we do var? So we can put properties in there, but it'd be nice if we can actually select from our custom properties, what they call it, variables from here. So that I'm pretty sure that will come. But yeah, I think this would have resolved uh, a lot of stuff that kind of just gets hidden uh, in the style panel. So. I look forward to diving more into this. Let me know if you want me to try anything or if you have any theories about anything that we could uh, test out. And until next time, happy no coding. <laughs>